This is John Paul Ryan. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. Today, I want to talk about the million moms who is pushing for a boycott for this Marvel movie. You could say Disney movie called The Eternals, which will feature a full-fledged kiss between two men. And this, obviously, is a complex issue. There's going to be strong opinions, and I'm just going to tell you guys my opinion straight out as we go. A conservative anti-LGBTQ group has called for the boycott of an upcoming Marvel Studios movie because it features an openly gay superhero. The Eternals is said to include a kiss between superhero Fastos and his husband. The movie's release is still eight months away, but as of Friday, the conservative Christian group One Million Moms, One MM, has asked parents to waste no time in signing a petition aimed at stopping families from seeing the film because it goes against their beliefs and values. Now, here's the thing. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, no matter who likes it or who doesn't, because it's just one of those topics. I've got three kids, and I'm not going to show them this movie. I'd rather them just not see it. I don't want the questions. I don't want to deal with it. I'm having enough trouble already. Well, they're too young, but I'll have enough trouble teaching them about sexuality between a man and a woman. So I don't really need the complexity, and I'd rather not show it to them. To be honest, they'd hate it anyway, because they like their Japanese cartoons. But... Like I said, it's a no-go for me too. Warning, an upcoming Marvel Studios movie will include a homosexual superhero and a same-sex kiss in the film The Eternals, set to hit theaters on November 6th. The group wrote on their website, One Million Moms needs your help to make sure as many people as possible are aware of Marvel pushing the LGBTQ agenda on families in the upcoming superhero movie The Eternals, which will be distributed by Walt Disney Studios, as I said. One Million Moms frequently launches campaigns attempting to boycott or censor films or television shows they deem immoral, often due to LGBTQ content. They recently complained about having been blindsided by a lesbian kiss that was briefly featured at the end of The Rise of Skywalker. And I am no fan of the Disney trilogy of Star Wars, so, you know, I kind of secretly, well, non-secretly because we're on the internet, but I kind of secretly hoped that they would kind of attack that because... I just think Star Wars got destroyed, got destroyed from me and so many people. We'll get into that one day, but yep, they missed that one. There was a brief lesbian kiss somewhat in the background that the 1MM and others unfortunately did not have a heads up on since there was not a prior announcement leading up to the release of this film, the group wrote. 1MM believes this was done intentionally. Yeah, and I could agree on that. Probably Lucasfilms just held it back and let it go. Here's what they say about the actual numbers of the group. Despite the group's name, the number of mothers involved in the group is believed to fall far below 1 million. The group says they are searching for 1 million moms to join the cause, although being a mother is not required to join the group. The true tally of members is unknown, but some critics have suggested that the number could be as low as one single mom, which I doubt. I looked up the group on Wikipedia, and it's estimated probably in the tens of thousands, which I believe, I mean, hey, YouTube channels get like hundreds of thousands of subscribers just, you know, getting together and criticizing movies and things like that. Twitter people, you know, they sometimes get up to millions of followers. So I don't think it's a stretch to think they've got like tens of thousands, 100K. I don't know, it's estimated under 100K, but I think probably, you know, they've got a group on their hands. All right, so let me get into this, like just my flat out honest opinion, because that's one of the things I like doing on this channel. I have had people tell me that I should feel a certain way about it concerning my own kids. Like, if I say the movie's a no-go for my kids because of this scene, they say, well, you're homophobic. That's bad. Now you're against gays. I don't like you. And I've been told this by somebody who was a gay friend who no longer talks to me because of the incident. And I think I have the right to choose how I feel about my own kids. If those were somebody else's kids and I said, no, you know, your kids shouldn't see the movie, that's totally different. But, you know, when it's about your own kids, then I think, you know, you got the right to think whatever the hell you want. As long as you're not teaching them something wicked to hate on gays, things like that, that they're bad people. As long as you say, hey, you know, I'm not gay, son. I've had relationships with women, but, you know, there are gays out there. Who are good people. I want to share those relationships with women with my son and I don't know nothing about same-sex relationships from a personal standpoint except just what I see about it. So that's not something I'll be sharing with my son on any level aside from a surface level like, see that son? I see it too. That's about it. As far as the agenda, you know, yeah, there's definitely an agenda. Walt Disney has chosen not to continue the family values that they've had for over a century, I believe. 
and they're going with politically correctness and the left wing who controls Hollywood. And let me say this, I know a lot of people here on this channel now are left wing, however, I mean the bad left wing, the entertainment left wing who wants these crazy morals and entertainment, not the logical left wing people who want a fair fight for women's rights, for handicap rights, things like that, for lack of a better word, you know. All I'm saying is, there's good left and bad left, and there's good right and bad right, by the way, but we're talking about the left because they control the movie industry. Anyway, I'm doing shout-outs, special thanks, things like that. If you're not subscribed here, click the subscribe button. I'm doing some Amber Heard, some sci-fi, some pop culture, whatever I feel like, hacking the internet, and I will see you next time. If you are not subscribed to this channel, The Entertainment Hacker, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button now.